Yo, what is good? Welcome back to another Game Day vlog. It is your boy Bud. And before we do get into the video, please leave a like on this video. It does take me a lot of time and effort to make these types of videos. And we are back again with the microphone. It was a lot easier for me to edit this uh, with the introduction last week. So we're going to stick at it. I think it does blend things in a little bit smoother as well. Now this week it is round 11 and we do take on Glenn Gary. So our team Yarram, we're currently sitting 6-3 and three with a bye. And Glenn Gary are only currently sitting with the one win. However, they always do match up pretty well against us. Um, so there's never an easy win against this types of sides. Now the weather conditions were pretty ordinary. It did come down to what team did play the best type of wet weather footy. Uh, it made the game quite interesting. A hard fought battle which you will see later on in this video. Now for our team leading up into the weekend we do have a few out uh, with injuries, illness and uh, other commitments. But it does provide some opportunities for some other fellas to come in. Now a little bit of background on Glengarry. They were established in 1895. They currently lead the league in the most premierships with 11, and their most recent being in 2013. So a very successful club in the past with a rich history. Even though they might not be flying this year, um, like I said, they always are up for the fight. Now, a week leading up to it, Friday, we did do the Gippsland Power, uh, actually Vic Country uh, promotional designs, whatever you want to call it. So Gippsland Power had the bike because the Vic Country boys and girls... Definitely boys, but maybe girls as well did play this weekend. So we had to do the designs for that. For the rest of Friday, honestly, we just had a pretty chilled day. Um, didn't even go out for a kick. Didn't go to the gym. Just really had a bit of me time, which was always good. Uh, and then Saturday morning, we caught up with the boys for a feed. We got week two. We got my man fish. <coughs> Let me start again. <laughs> Put that on the vlog. All right, fish, what do you got? Eggs on toast. Eggs on toast. Ooh, and salmon on the side. Oh, salmon on the side. Yeah, uh, uh, Thank you, Burrito, again. Who <laughs> gave you that suggestion? Uh, Bud said it was pretty good, so I thought to go it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, eggs on toast with the hash browns. That actually looks real nice. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Barbecue sauce over the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful. We've got the brekkie wrap in our 300 milkshakes, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, once we had our brekkie, we come home, got our stuff ready, and then we went out to the Oval and uh, caught up with one of my mates who come down actually from the Northern Territory and uh, was filling in in the twos for us this weekend. But got a few of my mates playing in the twos, so we decided we'd do a bit of a roaming board, and uh, this is how it went. Coach, 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 we're here roaming bud. Coach, we're in, we're in it for a chance for a W today. What are your thoughts? Rock up, dominate, win. Now, oh, before we, before we leave you, you're playing half forward, forward pocket. Any goals out of you today? Nah, just two goal assists, thanks. All right, if we move on, we've got the bloke from the Northern Territory come down. First question, the most obvious one. Is it cold down here? Fucking freezing. Um, and uh, where are you playing today? Uh, playing in the guts. <laughs> is that is that true? I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's being rotated. He's, he's been rotated. Okay, he's, he's into the. <laughs> Inject me. He's injected. Okay. Inject me. Uh, stat line. What do you got? Oh, probably one touch. I reckon first touch of the game, and maybe last touch of the game as well. <laughs> Just to wrap it up. All right. So not a big day from him. W L. Oh W. Fat Ws. All right, we're in. All right, there we go. Poch. I'm oh, in. Banjo Poch. Banjo Poch. <laughs> now, uh, where are you playing today? Halfback flank. Halfback. Take, home. Are you taking cheap kick-ins? No, I'll be, um, I'll be getting away from the ball, if, if possible. I'm quite tender. <laughs> now, um, Chid's really hyped you up this weekend. Obviously, you've had some injuries throughout the week. Um, now, you're expected to perform, obviously, coming off the halfback, that, that run and dash, a bit like Adam Saad. Yeah. We will be cheering and going woof every time you do kick of the footy, so um, expect plenty of kicks out of you. Are you excited by this, or are you a bit intimidated? I think woof is directed to the wrong bloke, <laughs> but I'm really excited, yeah. I'm keen. I'm, I'm back home where I belong, and I can't wait to kick it on the full. Ah, beautiful. Great scenes down here. Roman Board, back to you. Yes, that is right. Welcome back to another game day vlog. And today we are taking on Glengarry out at Glengarry. It's Tyler, the sword man. He starts us off with a beautiful tackle, goes back and pretty sure he slots a goal. Now for us, the twos did get up. 
So as you would have seen in Roman Bud, uh, there was a little bit of speculation around a possible win. And they did get the job done, so they get their first win of the year, which is always good to see. Now for this game, it was pretty wet conditions. The rain pretty well did set in for majority of the day. It wasn't heavy but it just was consistent and uh, it did make the ball very, very slippery. Now, an apology in advance, there is a lot of uh, footage in the second half missing, but I did have three cameramen rotate throughout the day. So um, that is how it is, but we still got plenty of footage to work with. We'll take a nice mark here and take the game on. If it was dry, maybe we would have taken a bounce, but I probably would have got run down. Anyway, we started the game very, very well. I'm pretty sure we kicked six goals. Maybe had even like 10 shots on goal in the first quarter to their uh, one goal. So a very, very good start, which in the past few weeks we have had a slow start. So it was good that we were able to switch things up here. Now we take a nice mark. Uh, we're about, I think we're kicking from just on the 50. And as you may or may not be able to tell, the rain is pushing across to the right of the screen. So there was a little bit of a breeze, nothing too serious, but... Um, still would back myself in to kick it and uh, unfortunately it does hang out and it was looking good and then fades right and almost hits the goalpost. So we only just missed that opportunity. Now, like I was saying earlier in the video, we did have a few of our regular senior players out, which provided some opportunity for our younger uh, players, such as our thirds kids, and they played very, very well. Um, one of them kicked three goals and the other played one of his better senior games and also got to play around in some different positions, which was a really good opportunity. Now, after having such a good start, Glengarry actually bounced back in the second quarter and made it a really tight contest. They had a lot of shots on goal and they put the contest back within four or five goals. So um, we definitely had to slow the pace down a little bit and just try and get the momentum back on a uh, more even terms than what they were. This next clip is absolutely horrendous. We get the handball received, great handball by Piercy, and then uh, we just cough it straight back up, and um, yeah, wasn't the prettiest clip of the day. Anyway, we follow up and get the footy back into our possession, so thankfully we were able to clean that up, but uh, yeah, I guess that's just how footy goes sometimes. It isn't always pretty. And right on cue, the ball gets smothered. Now you can probably hear the boys' support from the side as well as abuse, so I'll let you, you have a listen. put a little snippet, you know, this, this is just my mates abusing me. So uh, yeah, thanks to them for that. Um, now for the halftime score, it was 11-7, to. 5-3-33. Sorry, I couldn't even think about that. Uh, so we're up by 40 points at halftime. Uh, not a convincing lead by any means, but something we could definitely work with. And Glengarry, yet again, they came out after halftime and had five or six shots on goal. Thankfully, didn't kick him. Uh, we go down the other end and pile on the goals. So we kick four goals in the third quarter to blow it out to 97-39. and 39. And uh, Hunts, he kicked another goal, as you would have seen there. And uh, I think he finished with three as well. So he had a good day out. One of the better games I've seen him play as well. This next clip coming up, uh, we get a free kick for holding the man. So um, we go back and we actually get, well, I don't get the free kick, but our team will, the third player who's kicked the three goals for the day that I was speaking about earlier, he uh, gets a free kick down the field. And I can't remember if he does put this through, but um, he did have a great game regardless. And as you will notice or hear, uh, we had Dill, one of our players who actually got injured early in the game. He was my third cameraman for the day. So he did step in for these next few clips. I do appreciate him doing it for a little bit, but just quietly Dill, you might need a little bit of work behind it. Now this next clip could have been highlight of the day if I wasn't such a jam tin kick. We get the clearance out, take a bounce in the wet, Kick it from about 45 out, and it falls short in the goal square. And I'm pretty sure I got punched over the line. So possible highlight gone begging there. But we make up for it soon, which you will see. A little bit of a torpedo mid-hack out of the air go straight through. But um, I've already spoiled it for you. Anyway, we take a nice mark here. Now, at this stage of the game, we were pretty spent. Legs were very heavy. Uh, we only had one left on the interchange due to some injuries and uh, just managing some plays with illness. Kaji, he gets a nice left foot snap in here, and then here it is. Ruck contest c comes down, hack it out of midair, goes through torpedo. And um, as you can see, no one can believe it, not even me. And uh, it's always good to get a goal after you've had a few shots and missed them. So, yeah, that was it. That was the ball game. Uh, their defender was happy because he kept Snowy to under a 1,000 career goals. And we were happy because we got the win by 73 points. So 
Um, yeah, big game next week. The draw resets. So we go back to Churchill, who we just beat in the uh, opening game of the year. And uh, their ground is always beautiful. So thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next video.